our first guest, legendary drum and bass DJ and producer, Dave Pearson, aka Hydro. Make some noise! <laughs> Hello, how are you doing tonight? I'm, I'm good, thanks. Good, good. Thank you for coming down. We're so excited to have you here. So, you've been uh, DJing and producing for the last 16 years. Um, how did, what was your initial influence and how did you get into uh, DJing drum and bass? I think spending quite <clears throat> quite a lot of time in London in the early 90s. I'm not from London originally, but my father was living here and just tuning into loads. I was too young to go clubbing, so I was listening to loads of pirate radio stations. And I'd spend all weekend just with my C90s recording everything I could. And then um, I just got into like that and followed the evolution of the music through sort of went off track a bit when it went all ragga I wasn't really into that at the time and got into sort of jazz and funk and stuff and then I remember hearing Bookham in about 95 and he was playing Fotec and Source Direct and I realised that was me that was what I was into so and then started DJing at university and um, had a bit of a like eureka moment where I suddenly realised that was what I wanted to do yeah. yeah that was it I've been doing it since Never heard. university was a good time to realise what you want to do with your life <laughs> so uh, obviously 16 years is quite a while how have you seen uh, the genre develop and change in those 16 years positively and negatively ok that's a big question <laughs> um, I think I mean it's diversified a lot and it's there's loads of different niches and sort of people follow certain niches and things but for me I've always liked most of it I'm, I'm not big into jump up that's not a secret but I, I'm into all the different styles and the genres and I think there's something good in everything and how has it changed I think basically it's gone global with the internet I, I haven't really got any kind of you know like amazing insight that anybody else doesn't know you know like it's the internet has spread it around the world it's grown there's there's people making tunes all over the place it's very easy to get software to make music now so everyone can have a go and I think that's a good thing I think along the way like um, I think the one problem I have these days is that there's too many copycats and there's too many people sort of just jumping on a sound and rinsing it and I wish more people would just the reason I like it is because you can incorporate anything into drum and bass and I wish more people would just do that. That's it really. Cool, cool. And who, uh, at the moment, do you rate as a, a drum and bass DJ and producer? Who would, who would you like to collaborate with? Um, that is a good question too. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky, it's no secret that I work with all kinds of people and I, I really enjoy to work with other people because I feel like that gives me more versatility because, you know, they have their sound that they're known for and then when I get a chance to work with them, they obviously want to do something a bit different and that works for me, so that's cool. But um, I, I like... And I know you were going to have him on the show the other day, but I'm really, really big into drum at the moment. He, he's amazing, and he started making quite a lot of 170, and I really like it. So I haven't even met him yet, but, you know, I've got friends who know him, and I'd love to meet him and, you know, maybe get in the studio with him sometime. That would be a dream. That would be cool. Um, but lots of people, really. Um, I've been lucky to release for a lot of big labels over the years, but there's still a few that I want to tick off my list, so I'm kind of focused on that at the moment, yeah. just as a personal challenge, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, DJ Rum, there's an invitation to work with Hydro if you're watching. <laughs> um, you say that you've worked with a lot of big labels, obviously you've done quite a bit with Metalheads. Um, for those of you at home who don't know, that's um, actually Goldie's label. Um, how is working with Metalheads and how did that come about? Okay, well... That, that's slightly preemptive. I have got one track coming out on Metalheads, should be out around about the beginning of next year. That's actually my first thing for them. But that's obviously that's a big privilege for me because I've been. I, I used to go to the Blue Note on a Sunday in Hoxton Square religiously, and Metalheads is really like school for me. Um, so yeah, I'm extremely honoured. And basically, how it came about was I have a, a good friend, a girl who now lives in the States. But I know her from 
she was living in Guernsey, big up the Channel Islands crew. And she, uh, she's a great singer, I've known her for years and we always talked about doing something and then one day she, she was actually coming to London to get a US visa to go to the States and she had like 48 hours and I was in the studio with Halogenics and we had a mic so I invited her to come and then it was like the pressure was on, we had to write a tune for her so we wrote a beat and I found a piano sample and then bless her when I asked her to sing she was like what do you want me to sing you know like uh, I don't have lyrics or anything so I, I suddenly felt a bit like oh I've maybe bitten off more than I can chew here like and I went and sat down with a pen and paper and tried to think of like lyrics and write a hook and and we we did that and then down the line it got passed to Sabre, he was in Bangkok, Goldie was in Bangkok, he, he played it to Goldie, Goldie was all over it and it's coming out on Metalheads, so yeah. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I believe Metalheads are actually having a night on the 8th of November, so if you haven't been to it, get yourselves down, it's an incredible night, lots of fun and it really is an education in drum and bass. Um, so you've had quite a busy year for releases, um, a lot of collaborations, um, what is it that draws you to collaborating, do you find it keeps the music fresh for you? Well, like I said before, I think it's an, it's an easier way to get an extra perspective, obviously, but for me it really stems from the fact that the first real studio experience I had was when I worked with Break, the man, the legend, and he invited me in the studio, and at the, in the beginning I was a bit like, you know, I don't know where, that, where I fit in, because, you know, he's sick and he can just kill it whenever he wants, but he was keen for my take on it and my influence, and so I think starting working by collaborating, it's just very natural for me. I think actually, if anything, I prefer to be in the room with somebody instead of just staring at a screen. That's a bit boring, you know. I enjoy the chemistry that goes with working with other people where you have moments of magic and you can share the experience and, you know, vibe like that. And that just... It's just how I started and I enjoy it. And obviously over the years I've, I've become more technical and I've learned more about production and software and all the rest of it, but I've never really got out of that. I, I, I enjoy working with people. I'm better with humans than I am with machines. It's that simple. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> um, and just quickly, what releases have you got coming up and where can we expect to see you uh, playing? Um, I'm... I'm going to be on the road quite a lot over the next two months. I've got I've got a gig in Peterborough next week. Then I'm going straight to Belgium. I've got maybe five gigs in Belgium. I've got a gig in Rotterdam. Um, big up the Blendits crew. That's the party in Rotterdam. I've got a release coming out for them. That's the launch party for the release. That the release is on the 21st of October, and that's a collab with Emzine and Skeptics. Big up the Belgian crew. Um, I've got. Quite a lot. I mean, the Metalheads track's coming on Platinum Breaks 4, that's Ivy Lab and Hydro, featuring Lucy and Frank Carter, that is January, I think. Uh, I've got a release probably next year with Utopia, that's with a dubstep producer called Abstract. big shout out to the French crew, um, and War and Matiba, um, who are names to watch out for, they're very young producers from Montpellier and they're absolutely killing it. Excellent. Sorry, we're going to have to wrap up. Um, we've got a video coming up from you now. Uh, would you like to introduce it? Yeah, I think it's Celestine, yeah. uh, which is a track I made with my my brothers from Bristol, Fields, Mako and Willem. Big shout to Utopia Records. Um, and that is on Symmetry out at the moment on the flip of break. Music is better. If it's not too cheeky, I'd like to say it's one of the biggest twelves of the year. So big up break, big up all the crew. Yeah, that's it really. Excellent, thank you so much.
say thanks a lot to um, Hydro and Candies for that very informative interview. Wow, very articulate from the man. Now we're going to have him spin a couple of tunes from us for us in his own style. This is DJ Hydro. Thank you. 
talk too fast and tell me something else. Hydro on a trailer TV getting very deep and very dirty. back and enjoy.
it's about what, what, where you coming from, from your heart, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what is the message, what you got to say? Inside the last 10 minutes of DJ Hydro. We got an interview with Mr. Slick Shooter. inside the trailer for Hydro right now. <laughs> 